I'm Anthony from The Basement Read. We're a retail aquatic pet store and houseplant shop located in Columbia, Missouri. And this is our channel where we feature all sorts of fun projects, advice, and experiences related to keeping aquariums. Uh, today I'm here to introduce the 122nd Fishbowl Reef. Uh, this is a project that we started uh, for our TikTok. Uh, you may have already seen it on there, uh, but basically the premise was how quickly can we set up a Pico Reef Aquarium. So we set up this one gallon Pico Reef bowl with a sponge filter in 120 seconds. Uh, I'll post the unedited TikTok footage here in the corner so you can see that while we're sort of talking about it. So what exactly is going on with this tank? As I said, it's a one gallon fish bowl, a sponge filter, and a light. That is really the extent of the equipment. We'll get to the light in just a second, but as far as the core principles of this project here, it's just how simple can reef keeping be? Obviously, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you would want if you're gonna keep a big tank with multiple fish and stuff, but as far as some simple corals, uh, some little softies that prefer low light and stuff like that, it really is this easy to satisfy their needs if you can keep on top of the maintenance. We'll get into the maintenance here soon too. Uh, so what do I have going on for the light here? Let me turn it off and show you real quick. So it's just a basic desk lamp, the incandescent bulb there, or I guess the LED bulb. And then I had this little blue strip light that actually came from a kit that has two white strip lights. And then this is meant to light the refugium. Uh, but I pulled this off, uh, literally zip tied it to the light here. And that is what we have going on for our lights. Uh, it really can be that simple. I hit it with the par meter, we're at about 65 par, right where all of these corals are, and that is perfect for this type of situation. Uh, so, why does this work? How can this work? If salt water is supposed to be this big, difficult thing that you have to put all this equipment on your tank. Well, that's because at its basics, salt water is a box of warm, moving water with a light above it. Obviously, that ignores nutrient export that ignores keeping up with all of the elements in the water, but in something this small without any major life forms like fish in it, uh, just doing something as simple as changing out a couple cups of the water on a daily basis, literally just two scoops, uh, can really go a long way. And I've seen some little jars like this that have grown in for some really nice coral cover over time. As far as our plans with the tank moving forward, like I said, it's our 122nd fish bowl reef and we're gonna follow it for 120 days. Actually, over on our TikTok, we'll do daily updates for 120 days on this tank here. And then at a couple of points across the way, we'll do some more in-depth looks at it here on our YouTube channel. Uh, as far as coral selection right now, uh, we just have some yellow polyps, uh, green mushroom, uh, there is some like Pandora or pixie dust polyps, uh, candy cane, and then some button polyps. Uh, that candy cane is going to be our only stony coral in this reef. Other than that, we're going to stick to soft corals. And the reason for that is simple. Uh, one gallon of water does not have all that much calcium and alkalinity in it. And so the more that we have stony corals growing in here, the faster that is going to suck down the calcium and the sooner this whole project is not going to work. So what are some practical applications of this aside from you know, just being a cool little curiosity, a, a, a fishbowl reef. Well, the number one thing is that I hear a lot of people say, I don't have room to quarantine my corals, I don't have a second tank, things like that. Well, if you can do, say, like a 50% water change on a gallon of water uh, every day for a week with a bubbler in it and a cheap light above it, uh, you can quarantine your corals. Uh, this would work as a quarantine type system for just about any coral out there. And besides that, it really is a fun and accessible way to do reef keeping. Uh, but again, only do this if you can maintain this daily because without all the extra equipment, without all the bells and whistles that make a traditional reef tank a reef tank, this thing can't go long on its own. Uh, you can't leave for vacation for a week and come back and expect everything to be going great in here. I'm also never gonna put any fish in here. You can see some people with bowls that have had good luck with small gobies, like tremor gobies and clown gobies, uh, but I'm just not gonna do that. Uh, I don't wanna get into the whole morality discussion of it here on our channel. Uh, I just wanna keep this nice and fun. So if you found this tank interesting, uh, 
keep a lookout for it here on our YouTube channel because we'll be updating it here and there. And if you want a little bit more detail about everything that's going on with it, check it out over on our TikTok. Because like I said, we're gonna be doing 120 days of daily updates on this tank over there. So thank you so much for watching the video today. That really is all we have to say about this tank. Uh, it's simple, so we can keep it short and sweet. Uh, if you like this content though, please check out our other videos and please like this video and subscribe to our channel because both of those things will do a ton to help us grow and growing the channel is the biggest thing we can do to make bigger and better videos in the future. So again, thank you so much.